We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Detroit Tigers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks are riding it. Matt Manning gets the call for game one of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're looking at a real solid starting pitcher right here. You take a look at that ERA, anywhere between three and a half and four, but I'll tell you what he does know how to do. He knows how to get people out, and he can minimize the damage. He knows how to control the running game. He does a lot of things right, and if he does all those things, expect a real solid performance in this one. That's lifted the other way out to left. James is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Tigers strand a pair. And now the Diamondbacks will get their first turn at it. No score. Now to the plate, Eddie James. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Pitch on the way. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Is swung on and driven Come out on, to right ball. center field. A Get ball that's well up. hit. Looking up is the right fielder at the track. The wall into the pool area and gone. Solo shot to right center. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. And the Diamondbacks strike first. It's one to nothing. I know height sights 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. So digging in now, now Eddie James, no he went field, deep right? in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in Eddie. store for us here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, his second of the game, as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Fans are getting plenty of souvenirs today. That's the fifth ball we've seen clear the fence by just this one lineup alone. Yeah, Matty V. How about this, D. Rob? You come to watch off. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Eddie James, two home runs in two at-bats so far and looking to add to that here. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His third home run of the ball game as they have widened this lead to eight now. Well, you have a great night in hockey. You score three goals, and that's a hat trick. But how about hitting three home runs in one night? That's the baseball. Eddie James will stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. Hey, need you right here. Need you. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Left fielder looking up, still ranging back. Gone! Go 
It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His fourth in the ballgame as the blowout continues. You know, talk about having a great day. Four home runs in one game. I would say that's uh, more than great. That's a spectacular day. Eddie James will stand in yet again, and he's looking for history now. We take you back to his last home run. This was his fourth of the ball game, and it needn't be said that five in a game has never been done before. And the pitch is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit, a ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. Seventh inning. Man, they're making it look awful easy out there. That's nine wins in a row. That's right, nine wins in a row. And by the way they're playing, I see no reason why this streak is going to end anytime soon. They're just playing great baseball. 14 to 1, the final tally here. The D backs bang out 10 home runs. Matt Manning earned his ninth win of the year. Reggie Freeman was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Time of the ball game, four hours and nine minutes. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Detroit Tigers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks find themselves on an impressive nine game winning streak. They'll try to push it into double digits next. Tommy Wilson is on the mound for the Diamondbacks. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey man we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately in his last three starts he has a whip of over one point five zero lots of base runners lots of hits and lots of walks and that doesn't add up to very good performances so he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today stepping Leading into the box Derek Law he'll right get us started in this one Number under the one. lights. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Stepping up now, Eddie James. Last night was a good one for him as he turned in a four for five effort. Here's the first pitch to him. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. And ending in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Now batting, Joey Bart. As we show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Pulls this one in the air out to left. James is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. So striding in, William Park. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Now the 0-1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. James is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So only one hit in the inning on the solo shot, but it's enough to push him out in front. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Tigers one and the Diamondbacks nothing. Go 
New inning set to get underway. And next will be the switch hitting third baseman, Sergio Alcantara. Set to deal on two and two. That's lifted the other way out to left. One away here to begin the third. At the plate, C.J. Abrams. C.J. Abrams. On, he pops it up. Palucci ranging into the outfield. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One left for Detroit, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Up next for Arizona, Eddie James, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Go now, come on now, what time? First pitch of the at bat. Hard hit ball to second. Slide, slide, and there's slide, one away. Slide. Into the box, Lonnie Hawkins. The center fielder, Lonnie Hawkins. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. Looking up one, is one, the one. left fielder, and this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo shot here to left. Home run number 16 for him on the year as the Tigers have knotted things up at two apiece. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Ready for another chance. Fielder, Eddie James. Zero. He comes in 0 for Eddie. 2 thus far. Yeah. Hey, get your pitch up there and do something with it. Let's go. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line to the right side. Law is there and he'll bring this one in. That's one of those tough luck outs. Ready to go for the last half of the go. inning, We're and that'll bring that. forth the veteran outfielder, Eddie James. Eddie. This thing's far from Eddie. over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by That's one. Fine. All Let's they go. need right to here. do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Popped up. Delaney is under it. One away. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them, like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. 5-2, the final score tonight. The Tigers jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Isaiah Campbell wins his team-leading 10th game of the year. Chris Villanueva earns the save out of the bullpen, his 21st of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Tigers, five runs, ten hits, no errors. They left 12 men on base. For the Diamondbacks, two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left 12 men on base. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Detroit Tigers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. It's interleague baseball next on the show. Jimmy Wood will be the one towing the rubber for the Diamondbacks. What do we need to know here, Danny? 
Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher that than that ERA indicates. CJ. This is hit the other way out toward left field. James is camped under this one. Two gone. Coming to the plate now, Eddie James. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First offering on its way. High in the air out to center field. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Settling in now, Derek now Law, runner in scoring down. position with Derek. two gone. Law. The set and the one two. That's lifted the other way out to left. James is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Tigers get just the one. On now to the bottom of the second, all tied at one and one. In now, Lonnie Hawkes. In eight at bats in the series, he's collected three hits. Hawkes. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. One one. Gone! Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Striding in, Joey Bart. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Pulled high in the air out to left field. James is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think. Leading off the inning, Eddie James, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Into the pool area and gone. Solo shot to right center. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. And the Diamondbacks have come back to tie this one at two. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stinks, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Standing in, Eddie James. He'll swing it from the left side right here. The last at bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball, didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And they take the lead. It's gone. So it's a two run shot to right center his second home run of the game and it stakes the Diamondbacks to a four to two lead. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Ready for another shot now. Left Eddie field. James comes in two for three with a Eddie. couple of home runs thus far on his line. 
Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well open. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His third home run of the ball game, and it's now five to three. Well, talk about having a day. Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hack trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that to baseball. And he puts a bow on this one to end it. How about his 25th save of the season? He's proven to be a solid tool at the back of the bullpen, and every team needs one of those. 6-3, to three, the final score today. The D-backs wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Forrest Whitley earns his third win of the year in relief. Henry Horton closes the door for the save, his 25th of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game.